This is video number seven from digital-university.org. So we're going to present a whole series of videos dealing with different types of uh, circuit analysis techniques. Um, in this video, what we want to do is to first find the equivalent resistance of this circuit here, and then determine what is the voltage drop across this resistor right here. So let's look at this. First, let's replace these with their equivalent resistance and two resistors in parallel. That's equal to their sum, or excuse me, their product divided by their sum. So that's equal to two points. So we can replace this with a single resistor that has a value of two ohms. So let's just do that real quick. So this is four ohms. This is two ohms. This is eight ohms with our voltage source of 12 volts. Okay, so these here obviously are going to add up to be 6 ohms. So we have 6 ohms in parallel with 8 ohms. So that equivalent resistance is going to be 8 times 6 divided by Eight plus six. So we have eight times six is forty eight over fourteen. That would be twenty four over seven. And that's three and three sevenths, so or I think that's the same as three point four two. So what we determine right now then is that our circuit we can just go very simply like this, replace these with a single resistor. That has a value of 3.42. Let me just Here's our voltage source of 12 volts. So the source current that comes into the circuit, that's going to be equal then to 12 volts divided by 3.42 ohms. And putting it on the calculator, I think it's very close to 3.5. Amps. So we have 3.5 amperage coming into the circuit. Now, if we knew how much current we had going through here, then we would know that the voltage drop is across this resistor here, and this resistor is the equivalent of these two, and these two parallel resistors, so the voltage drop across here is going to be the same as the voltage drop across these two resistors, which obviously would equal the voltage drop across this resistor, these are in parallel, so we both have the same voltage drop across them. So let's see. And this 3.5 amps is going to get split to a current going through here and a current going into here. Now, by the voltage divided principle, excuse me, the current divided principle, the current that's coming into here, that is equal to. And this is what we did, um, I think, 
think in the second video where we determine that and you have two resistors in parallel and you have a current that's being split between them and the current that goes through you can think of this as one resistor with a value of six ohms the current that goes into this resistor is equal to the value of this resistor divided by the sum of these two, this is 8 and this is 6, add them together and you get 14 times the amount of current that's being fed into the circuit. So this is 8 over 14 times 2.5 or that would be equal to 4 over 7 and this is 3 and 5 tenths so the 35 over 10 and, and 7 and 4 to 5 times so that equals 20 over 10 or that equals 2 so there are 2 in the 3.5 amps that's our source current 2 amps go through these two resistors and then clearly 1.5 amps goes through this resistor now these resistors are in series so the 2 amps go through this resistor and two amps go through this resistor. So the voltage drop across that resistor is going to be two ohms times two amps and that equals four volts. There's a four volt voltage drop across this resistor and this resistor of two ohms that was the equivalent of these two parallel resistors. So the voltage drop across these two resistors is 4 ohms. The voltage drop of 4 ohms across this resistor and the voltage drop of 4 ohms across its parallel resistor. So finally, that tells us our answer. The voltage drop across this resistor right here it's the same as it is across this one, and that is equal to 4 volts. So, that's it for this problem. It is just a matter of finding the equivalent resistance of this circuit, which is a pretty straightforward task. And then when we did that, we had this. We need to figure out the source current three and a half amps, then we can figure out the current that flows to these resistors to give us the voltage drop. And the way we could do that was by using the current to buy the principle. And really, that's all there is to the problem. Um, we have one more problem uh, trying to find a um, um, equivalent resistance in a circuit. This will be a fairly complicated circuit. And then when we finish that video, the other videos that we get into will concern uh, nodal analysis and super mesh analysis, mesh analysis and super mesh analysis. So come back and join us for those videos and we'll solve some more problems.